All right, folks. She just, she's gotten to something big over here. I was about 20 feet away. Let's see what this is. Oh, be careful. Oh boy, you probably got a bow fin. Oh yeah, it's gotta be as, as much as it's been in your pole. We're here in a ditch in Southeast Missouri. Oh boy. Just let him wear out. Let him wear out. You got a bow fin. Oh man, it's gonna break the line. Let, lessen your drag. Make it where he can pull it out some. Keep tension on it. Oh, you got a channel cat. Man, that's a nice one, Wilma. Oh, wow. That's a good size channel cat there. He's about three pounds. There you go. Man, that ain't bad for here. You wanna put him in the bucket, huh? Oh no, you're not supposed to eat him out of here. Finally, huh? Yeah. All right, folks, she just got her biggest channel cat ever, I think. Uh, we went fishing in the morning for a crappie and uh, had no luck at all. I caught one warm mouth. We fished for three hours in the morning. We was there before the sun even came up. And uh, we decided to come here only because it's underneath the bridge where it's shaded. Okay, well, your shoes are in the bucket. Go get the... Yeah, I'm gonna need the pliers. Gosh dang it. No, I got it. Yeah, uh, all right folks. It's not a bad channel right here. He is about three and a half pounds. Three, three and a half. Put up a good fight. I thought I actually thought she had a bow fin because of how hard it was fighting. And uh, luckily she got it in. She needs to learn to adjust her drag pop properly. I've always said it for her, but it always magically goes back to being too tight. Uh, she doesn't understand what let plus and minus is. But luckily she got it in. And it's a decent sized channel cat for this little tiny ditch like this. We've caught several out. In fact, one day she sat here and caught 12 of them in the same spot and they were all four, four to five inches so it's a really good sized one for here come on gonna get away good job Real good job. <laughs> Is that your biggest catfish ever? That's about three pounds. He might go four, or at least three and a half. It's close. Good size regardless, and he's, he's pretty healthy looking. All right, folks, we're going to put him in the bucket. She's going to give him to the neighbor. All right, this is her personal best catfish of all time. So it's a good day for her nonetheless. It paid off. You know, we was having a horrible day. Nothing seemed to be biting. Everything that would bite would just nibble. So this was a worth of patience. That's a decent catfish there. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to get one. I had a bull head on, but it fell off right when I pulled it up. Other than that, all has a war mouth all day. Right. Make sure you keep those worms in the shade. They'll melt. We ain't get nowhere close enough to go get any more. You had them just sitting out in the sun. All right, folks, I gotta get something so I can beat her here. I had a bullhead about a minute before I ran down there when she had that on. And 
Let's see if I can get another one. I would, I'd take anything at this point. I'm actually trying to get a big eight to 10 pound bow fin. Uh, I'm trying to get my personal best of that only because there's nowhere else that nowhere else to go during the heat of the day. It's actually like 95 or something like that today. It's really nothing else to really fish for and we're just bored. And I figured I'll just try to get something like that, junk fish. That's a really nice one. You caught 12 of them over there last year and they were all hand sized. Everyone was the same. So that's weird. I didn't think they got that big in here. <laughs> 